Today is Friday, and tonight our Tar Heel traveler is remembering a young soldier from Goldsboro. And as Scott Mason explains, that soldier was very young. Here in Goldsboro is the grave of Dan Bullock, considered a war hero at 15 years old. He was the youngest man to be killed in the Vietnam conflict. And the irony is he wasn't even a man. He was a boy. He was 15 for a child. I mean, 15, think of kids today, 15. At 15, you know, they, it, I can't fathom it. He actually made the choice to go to war and fight and even die for his country. Dan Bullock was born in Goldsboro. A country boy from a small town here. And always wanted to do something better with his life. He decided that he wanted to join the Marines and was able to uh, change his birth date to show that he was 18. What age was he when he did that? 14. Could he pass for yes. 18? He was, a, he was a bigger boy. So when he went into the Marine Corps, it was obvious that he looked like he was big enough, but physically and mentally, he was a 14-year-old boy. He turned 15 during boot camp. And he got his orders for Vietnam. Three weeks after arriving, he found himself in the midst of a firefight. And Dan was not even supposed to be on duty that night. Just a crazy coincidence that put him there at that time. They needed more ammo. And Dan was the one who ran to resupply the ammo. During that time period, that's when he got killed. And at that young age, you know, to have somebody going through that for our country, it's just incredible. The Marine Corps contacted the family. The family at that time let the Marine Corps know the true age of uh, Dan Bullock. What was the military's reaction upon discovering he was only 15? It wasn't good. Kind of an embarrassment. Sounds like Dan Bullock almost could have been just forgotten. That was true. There was no headstone here at all. Not until much later, when Dan Bullock's story reached a television talk show host. And so she offered to buy one. Sally Jesse Raphael bought Dan Bullock a proper headstone. Love it. It is a beautiful tribute to a young Marine. Today, do many people know Dan Bullock's story? It's more and more, but still it's amazing how many do not know. And I want them to see that it's, it's not always about them and there's some stuff out there that's bigger than they are. And so this military family from Fayetteville visits Dan Bullock at least once a year. He was only 15 years old. Just a few years older than Cassie and Aubrey. Honor. And duty and courage. I want to be a Green Beret. And sacrifice. He was the youngest man to be killed in the Vietnam conflict. In my heart, he will always be a, a man.